Okay. Hi guys. Um, this is my first ever vlog. We're going on an adventure. So I'm gonna take you guys. I'm gonna take you guys with me to Barnes and Noble. We're going to a book signing. And it's for Casey Sherman's new book, Helltown, um, which is about a serial killer that was out and about in the 60s in Province Sandwiches in Cape Cod. So I'm excited, let's go. So that was one of the worst drives ever. Uh, it took me almost an hour and a half to get here. I was late, but doesn't matter. I got, the, got my book signed, uh, it was good to see him. And now I'm just chilling in the cafe. Um, got my beverage. And yeah, I'm just gonna hang out here for a bit, do some do some writing because you know, I have a bachelor's in English. Of course I'm writing a book. Who doesn't do that? <laughs> uh, oh, I'll show you guys the book. Here it is. Look how pretty it is. And it's signed to me. Yay. <laughs> family i finished volume one this morning and i loved it it's like a new favorite but and i wanted to get volume three because i have volume two but unfortunately they only have volume seven. Oh well <laughs> traffic was a lot better than it was on the drive down. I got home in a little under an hour. Still a little bit of traffic, but that's expected around Cape Cod in the summertime. This is why I usually like to only go down there in the in the more off seasons. And it was good to but it was still good to go to Barnes and Noble. Like I said, I got my copy of Helltown signed, so yay. And I can't wait to start reading this cuz I've been getting more and more into true crime lately. And it's, it was also exciting to go there because, as you saw in the footage, it's like one of those big two-story Barnes & Nobles with a cafe, and my local Barnes & Noble does not have a cafe. It is too small, and I still love it, and I still find plenty of amazing books to read, and I love the staff, and I've started going to their book club once a month. By the way, I'm reading Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow by Gabrielle Zevin, and it's so good right now, so highly, highly recommend that one if you guys want to read it. But, of course, naturally, I had to get other books. So I'm gonna show them to you guys. Oh, and I finished writing a chapter of my book. So I'm really proud of myself for that. All right, so the first book I believe like just came out this week or recently, I'm not sure, but it is a Star Wars book. Uh, what's it called? Uh, Stories of Jedi and Sith. It is a collection of stories written by various authors, which is exactly what it sounds like about Jedi and Sith. Look at, look at Anakin and Obi-Wan on the back. I, I love these two idiots so much. <laughs> but yeah, I have loved Star Wars ever since I was a kid. Uh, I think my family had me watch the original trilogy when I was seven, but I wasn't allowed to watch Revenge of the Sith until I was 10. So yeah, I was a child of the prequel era. And like this year, like my love of Star Wars has just been like reignited because I finally watched Clone Wars, which is so good. And the Obi-Wan Kenobi series just, it's, 
my like new favorite thing. I love it so freaking much and I can't explain how emotional I was watching that entire show. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I just want to have Star Wars books and I'm so excited for the uh, Han and Leia book that's coming out. I've already pre-ordered it and it's just a good time to be a Star Wars fan as long as, as, long as you stay away from the toxic fan. So no, no tox toxicity, toxicity, is that how you say it? No toxicity. No toxic fans welcomed here. <laughs> oh god, that was awkward. But now that's on the internet, so <laughs> for all time. <laughs> anyway, uh, next book, uh, and this was one that I did want to find. I'm happy I found it. Um, the Dead Romantics by Ashley Poston. So Ashley Poston wrote a um, Geekerella, one of my favorite books, and all those companion books in that series. And and um now she has this new book which um i think the main character is a ghost writer so that's pretty cool and yeah not much about that i just you know trust her because i've loved her books in the past and i have a new one and it was on a table of like buy one get one 50 off so naturally i had to get another one and i decided to get this one which i haven't heard anything about but hold on um the main character uh, makes a deal with the devil and has to deliver like uh, seven souls of like violin prodigies. And I play the violin, so that caught my interest. Yeah. And uh, one of the significant characters I think is trans. So that's pretty cool. I don't see a ton of trans characters in, bo in fantasy books. Like the, the only one that's coming to mind right now is, what's her name? Diana from, um, the Dark Artifices series. That was an incredible character too. So yep, this this looks good and the cover's pretty. And so this one I'd never heard of, but I had to get. Um, it's called The Littlest Library. It looked really cute. Um, main character is a librarian whose library goes out of business and which is just, that sounds like, that would be my worst nightmare if my local library just suddenly closed one day. But um, so main character is a, uh, and her grandmother also passes away, so even sadder. So she gets all her grandmother's books and starts a little library with in a phone booth. And that's just so, it, it just looks so cute. And I just love stories about books. Like it's it's something I've, I've always been a sucker for. And this just looked right up my alley. So yeah, took a chance on that. And last one I got was, so I always forget about this because like I said, my local Barnes & Noble doesn't have a cafe because it's so small, but um, the cafe will sell a book for $5 if you buy a drink. So of course I bought a coffee and I got this book because it looked good. And it's a, it's a YA historical fiction novel. Um, one take, and one, with two characters with two timelines one uh alice takes takes place um in paris during you know when the nazis come during world war ii come to occupy that's the word i was looking for occupy paris and then and then um then the other main character in the present day timeline um adolin i think that's how you pronounce the last name um so yeah this book sounded good and i got it for five dollars so And the adventures continue. Why? Because my brother and I are going bowling and maybe we'll stop at Newberry Comics on the way because like I said, I need volume three of Spy Family because it's my new favorite thing now. Right, right? Right, say hi to everyone. I'm so lazy. It's a strange feeling that I have. It's a Just like that, we're home. As you saw, Newberry Comics did not have volume three. They had volume like one and four though. I'm like, dang it, not the one I needed. <laughs> so close, but whatever. I'll get it, I'll get volume three and four soon. But yeah, my brother and I had fun bowling. I we played like 
three and a half rounds because we got cut off when we tried playing a fourth round because the hour was up. But yeah, I won, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> but we had fun and now I'm just gonna relax and I need to do some laundry, upload more Bookish Babbles episodes to YouTube. So be on the lookout for those and already have a bunch on Spotify and Apple Podcasts and a new one's coming out on Tuesday. So that's exciting. Um, thanks for following along with me today, guys. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.